What is up guys, Crazy Wiz here, today I'm going to be showing you how to download VMware Workstation Player 12. So I did this tutorial back in 2015, but now I'm going to do an updated version of it because um, the other one is probably not working now. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the VMware website. So once you get here, you're going to go to the left here, as you can see we have all these um, uh, things here. So you're going to want to click where it says downloads like that and it's going to open this. So it's going to have uh, the product downloads here. This is the ones you pay for, like Pro you know, and um, these are the free trials. So what we're looking for is uh, the free product downloads, which is going to be all the way to the right. And uh, we're going to click on workstation player like that, just click on it. All right. Um, so here, you can, as you can see, we have a uh, workstation player 12.5, which is uh, the newest version. And uh, it has a little um, description here that says uh, it's available for non-commercial use. And uh, if you go down here, that's where you have uh, the download options. So we have uh, one for Linux, if you have a Linux uh, system, and then we have one for Windows. So I'm just going to download this. You're going to click download and you're going to save it. So it's going to take uh, roughly um, two minutes to finish. It doesn't take. So it's going to take uh, about um, uh, two minutes to finish. It doesn't take that long. So. All right. So once you have it, uh, you're going to have this once it's finished downloading. So you just want to double click this. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is open your VMware. So as you can see, the top one says, uh, this is for using it for free. But if you were buying this and you had um, the license, you click this and put in your license here. But I don't, you wanna use it for free. So you're just gonna click the top one and you're gonna enter your email address. And once you put in your email address, you're just gonna click continue and you're gonna click finish. And you're done, now you have your VMware. So you can now uh, open uh, virtual machines, create virtual machines, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'm out. Peace.